Hey, 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 want some chicken today? Yeah, hi, I'll take a number one, um, <laughs> but can I get extra crispy fries and an extra toast instead of the coleslaw and an extra sauce with a Diet Coke? <laughs> the fact that I can just whip that Cane's order I was kind of hoping that you'd speech. respond with whatever, like, Bucky's employees say, but I don't know. What I don't know say. what the Bucky's employees say, but <laughs> da -da -da -da, I have my Bucky's t-shirt on today. I love this. And I have my Cane's t-shirt. It's actually an anti-social social club t-shirt. They did a Cane's <laughs> collaboration, and of course, you know that we both had to buy We had some to get, acquire yeah. a few pieces or yeah. two. I have this for when we, at some point, I know we keep talking about it, but at some point, do a Cane's, like, I need live to get, like, a dinner Cane's situation. Mm -hmm. We have a sweatshirt. I do have and then I have my taco Nike shirt for when we do a Taco Bell. I wonder if Taco Bell's ever done like a clothing collaboration. That like I know they like make their target. own merch, but I wonder if yeah. they've ever done one. I don't know. Good to know. Up. Panda Express has. With who? Anti-Social Social Club. That's not surprising. Which is so funny. <laughs> Anyways, we're already literally the first line and we're just completely side tangent. Are we talking about anything that we're supposed to? So no. welcome to What's Old Saturday for the week of the 4th through the 10th. I hope you guys had a good sales week. Mine, I had a very good sales week. Mine was Again. like, mine was pretty decent. And so I actually did cross post to eBay <laughs> two times for like an hour at least each time. Mm -hmm. And what do you know? I had like three or four eBay sales. I had a couple of very good eBay sales this week, which it's is shocking because um, here's what I did. I deleted my eBay store and I'm just a regular average eBay gem. Oh. So I can sell like a hundred things, but that's good because then I don't have to cross post that much. Yeah. <laughs> Which is nice. I always know that if you cross post to eBay, you get sales. Yet I just can't find the drive to do, do it. Do I ever? So. No. But it does pay off because yeah, I'm going to share one of them because I had one good one this week and I do actually have a Vestair sale, a Vestier sale to share. How about you? Do you have any other platform? I ones? have all my Depop sales because I had a very good week on Depop as well and then I had two eBay sales. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. And I just wanted to give a little update. I feel like Saturdays are are kind of like our only video to maybe in implement some like personal- What's that called? Housekeeping. Some personal info and stuff. Get you housekeeping. So if anyone way. cares about my car and that whole situation, just oh. a little update. Mm -mm. I have no update. That's so it. So my car's in the shop. I have heard nothing about it. I don't know if it's totaled. Everyone seems to think there's like a 50-50 chance it's gonna be totaled, which is just so fun. <sighs> and I have That's a loaner car right now that I don't really like that much. <laughs> that drives butt. It's but awful. But <laughs> I'm glad I have one at least. But That's, either way- Count your blessings, absolutely. And I I did have a doctor's appointment because I saw a lot of people saying I should and luckily she thinks I just have some like light muscle whiplash that I have mm -hmm. some exercises for. This shoulder has now been hurting actually quite a bit. Kind of like an annoying hurt, not like a ah! Like it's not gonna break, break off. Yeah. Um, and my neck feels better still. Not much updates. I'm trying to keep you guys updated about it, but I just haven't really had any. And I'm getting kind of frustrated because I want my I car know. back. And or it's my car. Wanna, like, no. Yeah, no, or I, I want to go like, get a new car. Decision. I just want a car. That's mine. <laughs> That's not. But. Anyways, back to business. Well, of course, before we jump into the sales, we would like to highlight the Valentine VIP <laughs> da -da -da -da. of the week. And this week's Valentine VIP, she left a super sweet comment Aww. on our last Valentine video. She said that we bring her so much joy and she just loves it. That's so, so much. nice. Thank you. And that is Jennifer. Thank you. So Jennifer. hello, Jennifer. She is at Pretty Pieces 18, which of course she will be the first link in the description. And here is Jennifer's closet. So once again cute. pretty uh. pieces 18 spelled just like it sounds she's got all kinds of pretty pieces so head over to her yes, closet leave her some love yeah. give her some shares leave a comment saying like yeah you're a valentine well, i like love a bunch, pretty pieces. a bunch of like heart emojis or something pretty so, patties thank you so much <laughs> Jennifer, for, be for being a valentine we really really appreciate it so moving on to the sales like i said i do have one vestiaire and one ebay i have two ebay so i will start off with my vestiaire i have had this for a hot minute and mm -hmm. i cannot believe it hasn't sold until now but it was this mew mew studded oh. spiked mini bag so cute and i so got adorable. this at this point i don't even want to know how long i've had it i feel like probably at least two years it's at least pre janine 19. i know mm -hmm. oh my gosh which like how look at it it's how? so cute it's so trendy i found this right before mew mew had this big boom mm -hmm. and mew mew's been back now kind of for like a hot minute yeah. still it hasn't sold but now it did so it sold for 250 which is still great i got mm -hmm. this at unique for like 
seven dollars. I think it was four forty nine, if I remember. Correctly. I think it was six ninety nine, but either way, inexpensive. I probably had a coupon too, so it probably ended up being like five, which is crazy. I think they just didn't either like notice. No, no idea. It or something. I don't know, but yeah, that was a great. Oh. I'm glad that it finally has a new home because it's yes. adorable. And then my eBay sale was this pair of Prada 2022 logo cutout leather slides. And these sold for $300. And I'm not exactly sure what I get, but probably around like $250. And it's funny because I actually have another pair of these in my closet. These ones were a six and a half and my other were a seven. And I'm we not going to let Debbie Jimmy. steal those. Can you mention Debbie? Chip chopping around in a pair of Pradas. I absolutely could not. She, Actually, like, she has a pair of Pradas. I gave her yes, a pair of does. Prada sneakers mm -hmm. for Christmas last year. So I can picture Debbie trim chopping Tr around. Clip clopping around in yeah. her Pradas. Yes. Debbie is like, when she tries on shoes, she like runs marathons. She does. I don't understand it. When, and then she, when tries she tries on, on clothes, she turns into like Suni Lee. Oh, <laughs> she turns into like a yoga instructor. She literally turns into At Lee some Philly. point, hopefully I can get it on footage. I need to get footage of Debbie trying on a piece of clothing because she's always like, well, I got to see if it can move in every direction. And what if I want to like go for a run? What if I want to like do the YMCA? And I'm like, you literally just sit on the couch. I was like, Debbie, you don't, you don't ever move like <laughs> you, that. That's like, fine. You spend your time just like chilling. Girl, you don't need to like do jumping jacks. You need to be at a 90 wheels. degree angle all the time. Yeah. It's okay. Anyway, my first eBay sale of note was this really nice CP Shades. I'm so used to saying the Free People CP Shades collab. Black Velvet. It was the Lily maxi skirt this was still online for like $300 that's insane it's unholy expensive I always forget that CP shades is ridiculous I saw this one for $99 I will split that noin with noin. one of noin ding noin with one of my lovely little consignment clients and then the other one was a turnstile find actually and it was this coach tan mercer satchel 30 the T Rose little satchel bag and it sold for 168 and it's going abroad it's going across the pond Nice to the UK. I have no just idea. across just, the seas. It's like going to Europe somewhere. Okay. I don't know where. I should take to Kentucky, which is very interesting. Speaking of, I think I just got the rights back to ship internationally, do the global shipping program. Oh, good. I had like canceled two or three sales on eBay, and so I lost the ability to promote listings and I lost the ability to do global shipping. But I think I just got global shipping back, which is actually eBay. exciting. eBay is such it's, a like. She's I get so it. finicky. I get it. But like, it's very strict. So moving on to the week, like I said, 4th through 10th. And on the 4th, I had 7. I had... Oh. You're having a lot of technical difficulties. I am having questions. a lot of technical difficulties. I'm sorry, Debbie texted me. I know you've never I done got, this before. I got stuck. <laughs> I had 5 on Poshmark and 3 on Depop. So my first sale was this cabbie green fringe plaid tweed button jacket. This sold for 32 I get 25 60 I assume that this was from... Also turned style, mm -hmm. and I probably paid five or six, so that was a great flip. Then I sold this pair of Mother Stunner Ankle Frey Skinny Jeans. This is the second of three pair of Mother that I've found three bins visits in a row. Mm -hmm. Sold for 42 I get 3360 and one of the belt loops was broken. So skinny. Broken belt loop. Love mother, jeans. mother still sells for forty two. Absolutely. Then I sold this set of Pottery Barn two quilted floral pillow cases. Dang. These were huge. Very. They big. were massive. Um. Mm -hmm. These sold for fifty dollars, and I get forty. So that's, that's pretty great. Good. I love picking up any Pottery like Barn, West Elm, anything, mm -hmm. even the ones that like we're not going to keep. They still sell. They're still ridiculously expensive now. So then this was oh, wild boy. and crazy and wacky and ooky and kooky and spooky. I sold this juicy couture rare butterfly Y2K sequin bag, and before I say the price, I would like to let you know that this <sighs> sold in 14 seconds. Literally. 14 seconds. We were sitting last Saturday in a Freddy's steak burger, whatever like they a call restaurant. it. Yeah. And I listed it and it sold in 14 seconds. Sold for $150. I priced it at $250 because there is one other one online on Mercari for $899. If you find them in pristine condition, they are worth easily over $500. This had a number of issues with it. A she number. Was, some peeling, some cracking, some broke. stains. But but it still sold in 15 seconds. Yes, <laughs> she did. And I get 120, so <laughs> let's go again. Yay. Let's do that again. Then I sold this cabbie, a lot of cabbie, but this one's not as impressive. <laughs> Oversized glacier knit poncho sweater. This one's over 13. Like it's seven dollars and seven. It's cents. giving Debbie. It is. 
Then I sold this pair of Abercrombie & Fitch Army Green paperback jeans. Sold for 20, I get 16. Take this one with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. I think it's because they were green. Yeah, the denim from but Abercrombie is amazing. We both just picked up some really good Abercrombie yes, jeans. Yes, we did. Like yeah. three days ago. I got a couple pairs of the bins. You found a couple pairs that are good, though. Yeah. That are quite nice. Then I sold this Free People Movement Tighten Up Crap Bralette 10. I get 705. I'm having a very heavy <laughs> week so far. And that was it for my fourth. Okay, my first on the fourth was a wonderful thing to wake up to last Saturday. A pair of Doc Martens Blair White faux leather, hydro leather, excuse me. Um, Ooh. chunky sandals. I do not know what hydro leather is. Hydro leather. They, these were turned style client. I paid $25 for these because I knew that the Blair sandal is really popular. They're still on the website for like 130 or 140, whatever it is. Um, and I sold these for 85 and they were next to new. So I make $68 minus my little 27. I'll take my little $40 all the way to the bank. Yeah. And then this was a wonderful God-given sale, which like, I got no room to make any faces this week at the oh, expensive shoes. This is when last week, if you remember, Ryan was like, I have a really good sale to tell you guys about next week. Cause this happened before we filmed. Yes, it did. This happened at like 9 a.m., which was amazing. This pair of Stella McCartney Fall 2020 Emily Vegan Leather Boots. <sighs> I only Ryan could sell that. You're correct. I found these at a turnstile for $65. I love turnstile, man. I lately oh. have too. I didn't, turnstile's low key been hitting it really I different. didn't used to source her a ton. But and now, now I, I feel do. like every time I go, I end up spending like $100 and it's like amazing stuff. And all to y'all shade. <laughs> I do love that they actually have sales throughout the year, like every oh, couple it's amazing. weekends. Whereas all to y'all shade, clothes mentor and stuff never all, all shade, all offense. Never has sales. <laughs> no, and if they, they never do, run it is like an algorithmic it's like like some formula. It's like ten percent off jeans, fifteen percent off like knit hats, and it's like super it's specific. The thing and I'm like like I like the <laughs> stuff Clothes Mentor has, but it's it's just not like reseller prices. No. And I wish they had more sales. Yeah. Anyways. Any who's that's a berate that's a scream at Clothes Mentor again. <laughs> um they sold so I listed them at five fifty and she offered me four hundred. I was very very happy to take that because I paid $65 for them. Um, so I make $320 and she accepted them the other day. Oh, it was amazing. Then I sold this pair of Anthropology Roy Gia. I do not know if that is this artist's name. Uh, Garden Bloom, really adorable little fleece pajama pants. I was so close to keeping these. I was very close. They were adorable. Sold for $32. I make $22.62. And then I sold a J. Crew hibiscus print floral wrap midi dress. Sold for 20, I make 16. Then I sold this, I think you gave this to me, honestly. And Ellen I, T. Gray. And I think this went to Kimberly. Did this go to Kimberly? Yes. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Kimberly. <laughs> Let's see, Gray, vintage Y2K neon brimmed little beanie hat. This was like low key, very, really cute. It was giving very like Avril Lavigne. Yeah, it was really From cute. like back in the day. I love this. Sold for $15. I make 12. And then on the Depop, I had two on Depop this week. My first one being this Unif Urban Outfitters gray ribbed hooded grunge sweater. Sold for $35 plus, I think, like $7 you're or something. You're welcome. I know. Thank and you. And you're welcome for this next one. <laughs> this was another full price Depop sale that had 15 likes. This Y2K beach grunge sleaze crochet tank top grunge sleaze is the new, like, big style beach category. Grunge, beach grunge lounge. Yeah. Beach grunge sleaze lounge. You didn't know that's my, that's my fledgling brand. Uh, so full price for $24. On the fifth, I had six. I had one Depop sale. My first sale went to Kimberly. Kimberly went to your closet and then Kimberly. she went into mine. So thank you, Kimberly. Kimberly purchased this Anthropology Design Works flask water bottle. Sold for 20, I get 16. So thank you very much, Kimberly. And thank you for your patience. That was one that was kind of hard to find a box for. So I appreciate her being patient with <laughs> thank me. Thank you, Mickey. Then I sold this Levi's and the Simpsons Springfield spell out logo beanie. Sold for 20, I get 16. I actually had these priced at like 45 or something. But I sold quite a few of them and mm -hmm. I had one left and I was like, you know what? Sure. You Take made the, the money back, one. get it out of the house. Then I sold, wow, a lot Another of Another cabbie. cabbie, interesting. I sold this cabbie 2022 Delight Floral Spring Blouse. This sold for 31 and I get 22 dollars That's pretty good. Then I sold these a Goldie Light Wash Slim Mom Jeans. These sold for 62 I get 47 58 I feel like... That was my last pair of a Goldie that I have right now. I think I have two. Then I sold this Timberland Lakeville leather <laughs> Chelsea boot. And fun fact. Is that fact, really what it's called? Yeah. That's fun so fact. Funny. It's so funny. But we, the city we live in is called Lakeville. Which I'm sure you guys know because our P.O. Box literally yeah, says Yeah, Minnesota. It. Absolutely. But I remember when I found these and I was looking that up and I was like, interesting. 
Sold for thirty one. I get twenty one eighty two. Then I sold this. This is a very like low dollar, but multiple sales week for me. I'm not. Used I to love this. those weeks though, where you just like clear a bunch of stuff out. Ann Taylor tie front sleeveless spring dress, and this is the one that I actually got to consign. And then when I was doing the haul, we both were like, maybe I should list this just for a little it. bit. It's adorable. Sold for eighteen. I get fourteen forty, but that's more than I'd get at a consignment store. And that was it for my fifth. Okay, my I lied. I had two on Depop on the fifth. My first. <laughs> was this Free People Movement Kelly Green ribbed little sports bra tank top thing. Kelly Green, yeah, color you. of the summer. Kelly Green, color of the summer, baby. Anyway, sold for $18, and then I sold this Y2K brown front graphic notched baby tee. I listed this at 25 and she offered me 22 I love these tops, man. They're so amazing. They sell so <laughs> fast every single time. Then on the 6th, I had three... And four on Poshmark and three on Depop. My first sale was this Theory Wool Cashmere Zip Moto Biker Jacket. This sold for $125. Egg. And la, 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 la. <laughs> this sold for $125. And I get 100 And this is also a color of the spring yes, and summer. Yes, pastel blue. This, like, baby mm -hmm. blue. It's, like, baby pink, baby blue, and Kelly green. And we still have not done the trend report research. Which update... I believe that's coming on next Thursday. Yes. We're just kind of like flipping what Tuesday and Thursday are going to be because as we said last week, Ryan's parents are visiting this weekend. So we just Yay. don't have time to make it a good one. No. So we will leave it for Thursday. But this I actually did pay up for as in probably around 50 just because like moto jackets were having this big moment. Mm -hmm. This retailed for like $600. Dollars. Very so expensive. Um, so I didn't make a ton, but that's okay. Double your money. Then I sold this pair of Moschino strap logo slide leather sandals. Now we're getting more into my comfort zone You've gotta be kidding with me. sales. This sold for $362. These were doing really, really good. And I got $287.58. Then I sold the Ray-Ban large so. aviator sunglasses that I just got maybe two weeks ago with the bins. You got them at the bins, yeah. Sold for 53. I get 40, 38. And that was it for my sixth. Okay, my first on the sixth for Miss Poshmark was a very nice shoe sale. So I sold the vintage Dior wallet last week. And this week I sold the shoes from the same collection. <laughs> Dior Vintage 2004 Pink Monogram Trotter Sneakers. I low-key had an inclination that these would sell on Depop because they're giving very Y2K, but they sold on Poshmark. And they sold on Poshmark for my full asking price of $325. Ugh, obviously some of that money will go back to the consignment client, but as it stands, I will make 260 bucks. Nice. Which is wonderful. Then I sold something from my own personal collection, which I feel like I have not said. Yeah, you ever. haven't. I never sold saw anything of my own. own for a hot minute. No. Free People Burnt Orange, the Satsuma Easy Street Tunic. I love this sweater. This thing is amazing. So this is the Ryan sweater. It absolutely the kind of is. The one. Easy Street Tunic. They're wonderful. I just did need eight of them. I have eight of them. I'll just take seven. I Well, I whittled it down to five. I have a burgundy one, a green one, a and some other colors. And I guarantee you'll see another one soon and be like, well, I got rid of some, so I can get another one. They haven't had a color that I'm like, I need that. Mm. Except if I were to get one again, I'd get the neon green one again. I do regret selling that one. <sighs> this sold for $40. I make 32 Then I sold this Madewell Cheetah Print Pony Hair Medium Sized Transport Tote. Sold for $20. I make 16 Normally, these do a lot more. But the pony hair was super worn off on the one side. Like, it just needed to know. Still sold. You know? Yeah, exactly. Then I sold this Anthropology and Dolce Vita cream. It was like the Prima or the Prima or the Priana sandal or whatever. They sold for $51, which I had them listed at 60 so that was a very nice offer. And I make 40 80 Then on Depop, I had three sales. My first was this Urban Outfitters blue floral embroidered tiered boho dress. I think Jack gave this to me. Yes. So I think in the, in the hall where I went alone, but I still Yeah, know. that's where that's from. She got it for $25, and she said it's going to become a little grand party dress. Oh, nice. Like, oh, good for you. And then I sold this Liberty of London, which I think Jack also gave me this. Yes. For Target Vintage Slip Lingerie Crop Top, sold full price for $24. <laughs> I could have such a pop and depop. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Thank you. But I don't. Sold for $24, which was my full asking price, and then I think... I might have found this yeah. in the maybe. Uh, I've thrown you a very similar yes, one. Yes, which I have to get listed because the girlies are going to die when I list that little get vintage guest bag. Guest black faux leather techno goth Y2K a micro bag sold for $22. And that was it for my sixth. On the seventh, I did not have any sales. I had two Poshmark sales. And that was a Tuesday. I don't really know. What was I doing on what Tuesday? Because I, I work with. on Tuesday? No. no. 
I had a PDL. Off. That was wonderful. My first on the seventh was a lovely little bundle to the lovely little Willow. They got this really cute Zara Disney. This is one of my favorite dresses I've ever had. I love this. Character halter mini dress. It's giving very the Gucci Disney collab of this kind of like woven, very like Argyle looking print. I low-key love this. And they didn't make anything that would like fit me, hmm. which irritates me. And then she got this really fun at Kellogg's Cheese It Crew Neck Red Long Sleeve. <laughs> love. The bundle sold for $24 and I will make in 1920. And then I sold a really fun little vintage bundle. Vintage 90s Y2K multicolored popcorn tank top. This really cute vintage 1980s kid core plus size patterned blouse. Wrangler cropped baby tee with this really amazing like western print throughout. And then this really cute Ralph Lauren gray paisley y2k tiered skirt. Sold for $80 and I will make 64 which I love the bundles. On the 8th I had three. I had three on Poshmark and one on Depop. My first sale was this vintage leather full zip motorcycle jacket. It sold for 35 I get 28 This is one that I just got. This sold mm -hmm. in like 24 to 48 hours. But usually they don't sell that fast but they yeah. do always do good. So do I will well. continue to grab the vintage leather jacket. And they like they weigh a little bit but i think you but know, if you sell them for north of 30 dollars yeah. like you make your money back yeah. it's fine then i sold these sam edelman jildy patent leather mary jane heels these were adorable i believe this was actually a pickup from nordstrom rack mm -hmm. and i probably got them for about 15 if there's a really cute sam edelman i'll pay about 15 16 yeah. for them and mary janes are supposed to be very popular this spring and summer Interesting. According so these sold for 70 and I get 56. <laughs> they were very, very cute. They're very a spring shoe. Mm -hmm. And then I sold this pair of A-brand Ariane low-rise bootcut 90s jeans for 50 and I get 40. And I've seen kind of an uptick in jeans, which to mm -hmm. me is very odd Interesting. for spring. I know. But I definitely feel like I've been shipping more jeans lately. I have I been know. shipping a lot of shorts. I don't know why shipping that would be. So many shorts. <laughs> okay, my first on the 8th was a lovely little Free People item. This Free People Beach Avalon Orange Ruffle Little Maxi Dress. This was a Vince Find. Sold for $40. Minus a shipping discount. I make twenty nine oh two. And then this was from my personal collection as well. This was um, actually the blazer I wore to my first time going to conferences <laughs> as a teacher, which was really funny. Very fitting for an art teacher. I know. I kind of want to like dress really quirky every year for conferences. I think I'm but it has to be different each time. Yeah, I know. I can't let like, you guess it. Um, Keep it was them on this their toes. Upper suits, cheetah print button front blazer. I learned about this brand from the lovely Miss Lori Tada. Lori Tada. Lori Tada. -ta she, <laughs> I think, found one that was like going to give to her son or something. And they're these like really crazy, really fun like men's suits. And I think I found one that was like a flamingo. One time I like, found back one. In the day. One time I found a white one with like faux like blood splatter all over it and I wanted it so bad but it was in the bins and it was stained. So yeah, that was probably bad. Was, like, nasty oh. costume. That's really sad. Um, and they sell pretty well so I got this for five dollars at Unique <laughs> one day when I was just perusing for myself and I sold it for 36 and I make 25.82. Then Miss Jasmina came into my closet and got literally one of my absolute favorite things I had listed. Everybody's buying all your favorite stuff. I know. These are a few. You are my favorite things. Please don't sue me. Edelweiss. Um, she got this stunning INA live bows black white square shoulder dress. In a, in a, this was an adorable, like I had never seen anything from this brand before. I don't know who they are. I couldn't really find anything about them online. It was this stunning like square puff shouldered dress. It was beautiful. And then this really amazing new attack fashion nova. Cardi B black mesh dress. They sold for $50 in the bundle and I sold and I make 40. And then on Depop on the 8th, I had one and she was like, when can you ship this? And I was like, oh, I can ship it tonight because I was going to the storage unit and she just flat out bought it. Hmm. This really adorable vintage plus size 70s ruffle peasant hippie cotton tie front Ooh. top. And this was such a cute piece. And she got it for 40 bucks and I make like 35 and some change after fees. On the ninth, I had four. I had two. My first sale was this Allbirds Wool Blend Net Plus Cap Hat. Sold for 25 and I get 20 Then I sold a Forever 21 piece. And it actually sold for more than $10. So I sold this Forever oh, 21 God. Angel Cherub Printed Zip Puffer. Sold for 35 which was my full listing price. Because, of course, it's just Forever 21. Mm -hmm. I would not price it higher than that. And I get 28 But it was so cute. I could see Urban Outfitters selling it. I could see it being on Doll's mm -hmm. Kill. So I was like, 
You know what? Sure. Especially at the bins. Oh, 100%. Then I sold this Anthropology Star Embossed Passport Holder. I feel like we've all seen this before. Not really in the thrift store, no. but like at Anthro or just somewhere existing. They get you like in the clearance line or in the checkout yeah. line. It'll be like the Mario Badescu small little like rose yeah. water. And then this passport. And holder. then like a headband. And then like that rose salve. So I found this in the bins and I honestly can't believe I haven't found one before. But it did sell for 18 I get 14 40 I almost was worried that it'd be a little too oversaturated and it like wouldn't sell but it did <laughs> then i sold this which is a bolo brand mm -hmm. sleeper floral printed linen belted dress sold for 100 i get 80 i actually had this price at like 225 but i've had it for a hot minute and it was an extra small and i just was kind of like they're known for their pajamas move on. they're known for their pajamas mm -hmm. and they're known for their like slip on mule like sherpa little, like, house shoes. shoe kind of a thing the dresses yeah. still are expensive and can obviously sell mm -hmm. for a good amount but I wouldn't pay up as much for the dresses, mm -hmm. probably. 20 bucks. Okay, my first on the ninth was a Poshmark sale, and it was this Lulu's Best Day Ever Cherry Print Short Sleeve. Sold for $10, and I make seven oh five. It was just like a bins find, and I had had it forever. I was like, please just leave. Just get out. Just go home. <laughs> and then my last sale of the week was a Depop sale, and it was this vintage 1980s silver metallic geometric chain belt. Sold for twenty six fifty, which was a good sale. Mm -hmm. That could have been for me, but maybe not because you've had like have twelve of them. Many and of them. half of them I are find from them me. all the time. Yeah, and I love them. Then on the tenth, I had three. I didn't have any. My first sale was another good shoe sale. Oh, it was this it was. pair of Prada logo embroidered canvas slides. These sold for three sixty, and I get two eighty eight. That was a great offer. I had these listed at like four fifty, I think. So that was a really good. You offer. and the Prada sandals this week. I know, They're and flying. I also just recently sold these in like a tan color. Mm -hmm. This is gonna sound horrible. So I sold these in a tan color, and when I sold them, I was like, oh, that's right, I have two pair of these, I have them in black, and I looked, and they weren't listed. I had Prada sandals just like sitting in the storage unit. So I got these listed and they sold. <laughs> Moral of the story, um, I get 288. <laughs> $288 sitting in that storage unit. I was like, that's bad. That's good. Ooh, that's shame, bad. Shame, shame. We then know sold, your name. Then I sold this Anthropology Suede Raffia crossbody bag for 20 I get 16 This is currently in a consignment, like, bin. <laughs> So I Some gotta of the go grab bags. That. I just don't think do that good, honestly. Well, it didn't have a brand in it. I had to reverse image search it to find out it was from Anthro. I had a feeling it was. Mm -hmm. uh, it still was like I think like an older one. So. Yeah, that's good. And my last sale uh, was this Bowden flamingo printed gold tied bikini top for twenty, and I get sixteen. But for a bikini top like that, is yeah, especially totally from the fun. bins, they are like free. Yes. So my gross for this week was one thousand seven hundred and seventy two. Dwellers. Mine was one thousand two hundred and twenty-eight dollars, which is really good for me. That, I know. Round of applause. That, it's been a hot minute for you since. Oh, and speaking of money, my speaking thousand money. dollar dress got accepted the other day, and I cashed out eight hundred dollars on Poshmark. And Ryan had a Depop editor's pick this week. As it was well. a purse. Made of seat belts. It was made of seat belts. And then my gross for Depop was two fifty-eight fifty. And my net was $1,417.60. And Mine was $982.40. And, and then my net on Depop, which I love Depop because $258 down to $230. Like, nice. there's hardly any fees, which yeah, is so really amazing. Nice. $230.54. Yeah. And then, like, an extra couple hundred bucks on eBay. So that was a pretty, actually, I had a very good week, week this week. A very steady sales week. And mm -hmm. I think I made, I made Mercari sales. I made eBay sales. I just didn't want to talk about all of them because, like, some of them are I exciting. have given up on Mercari. I made a Vestair sale. Mm -hmm. I think I made a Marketplace sale. I sold, like, a We're dog bed. <laughs> sticking our toes in all so, these different platforms. I know. Like, it was pretty steady oh, nice. everywhere. So, as per usual, let us know below, like, what platform did you have the best sales on this week? Mm -hmm. Are any doing really poorly for you? Are any doing really good? I've heard a lot of people saying that, like, Posh isn't doing that good, but eBay is. I've and I'm sure my eBay everywhere. would do better if I continued cross post, which I do plan mm -hmm. to do. I feel like we're finally, like, catching up a bit. With stuff like around the house. I know. Things are kind of starting to like melt like out a little we bit. We painted Projects our Projects are starting to get checked off. We painted anything. our room. This guy's still here though. And I've seen yes. a number of comments saying that they actually like it. 
Um, I don't know. It's not as bad as I thought, but we still definitely yeah. got to get rid of her. She's going to leave. It's but more annoying. But we checked under here, and it's blue. It is. So we are confirmed going to have to, like, polish all these walls down. It's more annoying, and I feel like, for the posh photos than it is for, like, filming. Especially, like, pants. Oh, if I pants know. hang, like, or below like the little line, dresses. it gets super annoying. It just looks questionable. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. Anyway. But yeah, so I think what I was saying, I think we're finally getting a little caught up. We're getting like stuff mm -hmm. moved into the storage yeah. unit that like we're just we're moving a little faster. We're kind of getting our uh -huh. bearings. And that's I'm what's sure. like giving me more time to cross post. So hopefully this week continues the same way. Mm -hmm. But still this week, I will be going to the bins. And I think Tuesday is going to be a bins haul of me. We'll see if Ryan's in it. Probably not. Oh, but he definitely he definitely won't. Bins. Yeah, he won't have bins stuff. But we'll see if he's still going to be in it as a like react thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. No problem. I things. may sneak into a thrift store too on the way home from school. And then Thursday should be the trend report. Like there's a 95... 0.73 percent chance, chance of climate that it will be because still got to write it yes. but we need to get on it because yes, we do spring's approaching spring's coming someday. we have a day next week that's going to be 41 and then degrees a couple days later it's going to be 24 and you're going to see me sprinting down the street i for sure will see you guys on <laughs> tuesday possibly ryan as well but we will see you guys on thursday for the spring trend report let's get into the spring mindset i need to be my mental state uh, literally requires please. it. Oh. <sighs> Anyways, we'll see you one of those times. Goodbye. Goodbye.